Hello my fellow Archons and welcome to another video. Today we've got another opening video. We've got Ember Skies and Tokens of Change. We'll be opening both of these decks on camera. It's going to be kind of like a would you rather? Would you rather the Ember Skies deck or would you rather the Tokens of Change deck? Um, let's hope for some fire, let's hope for some Sky Beast, Katina Fiend, um, all sorts of good stuff. Um, but without further ado, let's crack these packs open and see what we've got. Alright, so we're going to start off with the Ember Skies deck. We've got Geistoid, Brabnar, and Skyborn. Josepha, Wintry Bridge Birdkeeper. Very interesting name. Um, Geistoid is usually pretty good. Brabnar, eh, pretty mid. It's not usually how you're super happy to see in Ember Skies. Skyborn, definitely some potential there with steel and whatnot. Um, let's see what Josepha has in store. All right, let's start it off here with Seeker Missiles. Okay, not bad. Scalawag Finn, I absolutely hate this card. Also, he looks like a total doofus. Like, what is this art? Why does he look like that? Okay, anyway, Scalawag Finn. Oh, of course I have two of him. Of course the card that I hate, I get multiple of. That's how it always goes when I open these decks. All right, this one has a capture pip at least. Raiding party. After fight, if two keys of the same color are forged, steal two. Otherwise, steal one. Got some stealing going on in here. Prop dusting in Brobnar, interestingly. Play, destroy an enemy fight creature. We've got another prop dusting. Now, this is a card that could have used an ember pip. 100% could have used an ember pip. Why did they put a pip on redline rotation and not this card? Why did they put one, put one on against all flags and not this one? I have no idea. Indigo Halyard in Geistoid with a capture pip. Um, while your blue key is forged, he gains after reap ready and fight with another friendly creature. While your opponent's blue key is forged, each of Indigo Halyard's neighbors gains taunt. Kind of funky, kind of weird. Uh, Chandler and Nuke, each friendly flank creature gets plus two armor and gains taunt. That's actually a pretty solid card, um, depending especially on what other creatures you have, like Navigator, Katar, stuff like that. Bosun Kareen, and so he has scrap move a creature to a flank of his controller's battle line. Pretty cool. Double Bosun Kareen. Silver Linings, now this is a pretty sick card. Uh, gain one for each house represented among friendly flank creatures. And there we go, Navigator Qatar. After Reap, if he's on a flank, draw two cards and archive a card. All right, moving into the Geistoid. First up, we have Wellstring. After Fight, After Reap, deal three damage to a creature. Summon Council with a Capture. After Reap, choose a card in your discard pile or a purged card you own. Shuffle the chosen card into your deck. Portal Guardian, 4-1, Taunt, Destroyed, another friendly creature captures two. Ooh, Parabyte with a discard. Your opponent's keys cost minus one. <laughs> Sorry, plus one for each ember on friendly creatures. Play after reap a friendly creature captures one. Uh, two parabytes, love to see it. Okay, make that three parabytes, very nice. Junko, love Junko. Harvest Skimmer, don't love Harvest Skimmer. Veil of Ectoplasm for each Geistoid card in your discard pile of friendly creature captures one. Thought Catcher, okay, that goes good with the Veil of Ectoplasm. Paradrone. Two power, four armor, after fight, a friendly creature captures one. Pretty funky. Pretty funky. Reuse and reuse and reuse. Hey, there's the ghoul keeping in Skyborn. That's interesting. Play ready a friendly Geistoid creature. I don't know when this would ever be helpful in Skyborn, to be perfectly honest. Skyborn readying one of these creatures. I honestly have no idea. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't think that's a very helpful house enhancement, to be perfectly honest. If only there was an Echo Fly in here, that would have been beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. In the Brobnar, we have Terrence Surefoot. Elusive. After an enemy creature reaps, move one ember from Terrence to the common supply. Play after reap, capture one. Incensed. Okay. Fancy Donovan with a discard. Scrap ready and fight with a friendly non-Brobnar creature. Dreadstar the Lone in Skyborn. Uh, if there are no other friendly Brobnar creatures in play, Dreadstar gains Versatile. After fight, your opponent loses one. DB Gobber. Okay, double DB Gobber. After reap, your opponent loses one. Scrap each player with seven or more loses two. Alrighty. Cirrus Mace. Blech. Action, give a creature two plus one power counters. Deal two damage to each of that creature's neighbors. Cacophonous Riot. There we go. Something to go with the uh, Incensed. Smith, nice. Overrun. Grenade Snib, heck yeah. And Lava Ball, also in Geistoid. That's interesting. So actually, so again, I want to look at the school keeping in Skyborn. Play Ready Friendly Geistoid Creature. Did any um, Geistoid enhancements land in Skyborn on Skyborn Creatures? Indigo Halyard. 
Okay, so that's really weird. So while you're in Skyborn, you can play Ghoul Keeping and then ready this Geistoid and also Skyborn creature. <laughs> that's so, that, that is actually so weird. So you have this technically Skyborn and Geistoid creature out on the board and you call Skyborn, play this Geistoid but also Skyborn Ghoul Keeping like to ready the Skyborn, but also Geistoid, Indigo Halyard. That's so weird. That's so weird, actually. <laughs> That's actually so strange. Okay, well, there's that. There's that going in this deck, I guess. Interesting. Junko's cool. Triple Parabyte is actually really interesting. I like that a lot. There's some other captures going on in this deck as well. Um, but, I mean, yeah, this deck just looks like kind of vanilla. Ember Skies. There's no red line rotation, no against all flags or anything like that, so some of those iconic Skyborn cards were kind of lacking. Silver Lining is cool, Navigator Guitar is cool. But, yeah, this is a funky deck. Okay, so that's deck number one. That's the Ember Skies deck. Now let's take a look at the Tokens of Change deck, and we will compare. All right, so we have the Progenitor that liberates fate. I'm not 100% sure what that token is, but it is Redemption. That's cool. Redemption, Geistoid Shadows. Uh, let's crack it open. All right, so our token is the Zealot. One power, two armor. What am I saying? Assault 2. <laughs> one power, Assault 2, does not have any armor, but it is a mutant, which uh, can usually create some pretty cool synergies within Redemption. Um, okay, let's hope for some Kerwallops. Maybe a uh, the Vault of Redemption or whatever it's called, which I think might be linked to Zelda. I'm not totally sure. I'm not totally sure. Okay, what do we got? Starting it off with Sneaky Feats. Play Make a Token. If you have stolen at least one Ember this turn, Archive Sneaky Feats. I find there's just not nearly enough steel in the shadows itself to reliably archive sneaky feats, which I think is really lame. Uh, we have two of them. Shoulder Id. Lurking Hob. After we make a token. Okay. Life for life. All right, there we go. There's a Kerwallop. So we can hit some of those Zealots and uh, hopefully gain some Ember off of them. We have a Hawk, some Artifact Control. Love to see it. Dodger with a discard, so there's some steel for the sneaky feats. Whisper. We've got Big Sal. Dude, I love Big Sal. Six power, taunt, play, make two tokens. He's great. I mean, that's three creatures coming down onto the board at once, and this guy's six power with taunt. That is nothing to scoff at. Oh my goodness, double Big Sal, okay. Bullet Eye. All right, moving on to the Redemption. We have an odd Claude. Subtle Auto with a discard, all right. Snaret with an Ember. Lots of mutants. Shifting Battlefield. We've got Intrepid Exemplar. Taunt after fight destroyed. Make a token creature. Okay, interesting. Vindication Outpost. Okay, the new outpost. Action, put a friendly creature on the bottom of its owner's deck. If you do, make a token creature, ready it, and fight with it. Huh. So we're making a tiny little one power assault to Zealot. So I mean... You could get a few damage in, I suppose, with that. Professor Torado, nice. Dude, with the Zealot, oh my goodness. That's a lot of mutants, a lot of draw cards. Double Torado, holy. Gorm of Om. Ooh, double Gorm of Om. There's some good artifact control in this deck. Champion Tavris, okay. And there it is, the Vault of Redemption. Each time a mutant creature is destroyed, draw a card. And so far, there are a ton of mutants in this Redemption. The Zealot himself is a mutant, and the Kerwallop. So I, if I have a whole bunch of Zealots out there, I can Kerwallop for a whole bunch of Ember and draw a card for every one of those guys that's destroyed. That's really cool. All right, into the guy with the sidekick. I love this guy. Play, choose a card in your hand and put it into play as a token creature. Love them. Love that. Mehmet with an Ember. Nice. In here somewhere. Amazing. Haunting deck. If you're haunted, purge a card from a discard pile. Holiday Festival. Double Holiday Festival, my goodness. Dark Lamp, okay. Getting all the uh, Grim Reminders classics here. Double Dark Lamp, this one with the damage. Bump in the Night, play. Deal two damage to an enemy creature. If this damage destroys that creature, make a token creature. If you are haunted, repeat the preceding effect. Okay, so, so there's some more token gen. Administrator Rivet, play make a token. If you're haunted, each friendly token creature captures one. Yeah, these guys aren't going to be protecting Ember very long, I must say. Return to Rubble. Okay, a board clear. Nice. And last card. Oh, Dark Memento. They reprinted Dark Memento. Interesting. Uh, it's sort of your turn if you're not haunted. Pretty much just always, you're just always haunted. That's what Dark Memento does. 
Interesting. So yeah, this deck looks pretty pretty interesting, I'd say. Um, hold up, how many pips are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, there's not that many, I guess. I should have done, done that with the other deck too, but uh, I guess we're, here we are. Huh, well this deck actually looks pretty fun. Um, decent amount of token generation, kind of. I mean, there's a couple cards in the Geistoid that will generate tokens. Um, let's see, there's a whole bunch of like mutant synergy and like card draw, potential card draw in the uh, Redemption, which I like quite a bit. Uh, and then the Shadows, not a whole lot of steal, of course, because for some reason, Shadows isn't allowed to steal anymore, even though that's like their whole thing. So that's cool. Uh, but there's some good artifact control in this deck. Uh, actually, yeah, the Shadows seems to be generating most of the tokens with the double Big Sal, and then also the double Sneaky Feats, and the Lurking Hob. I don't know how important it is for this deck to be haunted. Um, obviously, there's an in here somewhere that matters with it. But I mean, there's not like a whole ton of Haunted Synergy, so I don't know how helpful exactly the Dark Memento is. But yeah, that's interesting. I like this deck. Zealot is cool. Uh, this is my second Zealot deck. I love the Vault of Redemption. I think that's a really cool card. And uh, with all the mutants that are in Redemption, um, I think that's perfect. So, Zealot. So that's the Tokens of Change deck. And then here we have the Ember Skies deck. Let me pull up both of these Archon cards for you real quick so we can compare and contrast. So there we have it. Ember Skies and Tokens of Change, what do you guys think? Which would you guys rather have, the Ember Skies or the Tokens of Change? I think me personally, I would have to go with the Tokens of Change. I think the Kerwallop, Vault of Redemption, Zealot Synergy is really cool, the Geistoid is solid, the Mutant Synergy is high, lots of potential card draw. Overall, I think this one looks like a lot of fun. Obviously, there is the Triple Parabyte and the really wonky, like, Skyborn Enhanced Ghoul Keeping with the Skyborn over here. I think this one has some interesting tools as well, but I think this one just looks more fun to play in my opinion. But uh, yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Ember Skies versus Tokens of Change, which would you rather have? Thank you all so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you all again in the next one. See you later.